time to put all of our data in our table of post out of this add new post.php file. So I'm gonna scroll up. So we have all these includes on line one, two, three. And then when the user will click on our submit button, we will get every single thing by using super global of post. So the first super global of post will get the title of our post. So if I scroll down to my form, here you can see that this form has the action attribute of categories. So first of all, I have to change this to add new post dot php the method will be post as well but this time this form will have one more argument and that is adding the ink type attribute so this ink type will help us to get the image and save the image in our desired directory because we have one field of image this field of select image so we can only work with this field if we add additional argument inside our form and that is ink type so i have to define this ink type and it will be multi part slash form dash data so i added just this ink type to handle the images so after doing that you can see we got this first div in which we have this input field that has the name of post title. So in order to grab this post title, we have to copy this name of this field. And now let's scroll up to the top. So we will have this variable post title. And we grabbed that one with the name of post title. Then then let's see our other variables so after our post title we have this choose category that has the name of category so grabbing this name of category scrolling up i will have this variable category putting that category here let's indent it a bit then we have this select image field so scrolling down to image field here you can see this image field that has the name of image so grabbing this one scrolling up so here on the next line, I will have this variable with the name of image. And we cannot use the post super global here because it's an image type. So we have to use another super global that is called files. So I will use this other super global of files that will take care of our image that has the name of image and one more thing we cannot save our whole image directly inside our database we just save the name of our image in our database and we save the actual physical image somewhere in our directory so we will save our image in the folder of uploads and in the database we will just save the name of our image so out of this super global of files of image i will just grab the name of my image so this one will have the argument of name to grab the name of our image that the user is going to upload so after that we have to take care of another field and that is last one of this post so first scrolling down to the text area So here is this div of post and it has the name of post description. So copying its name, now scrolling up, 
so I will have this variable post text so by using super global of post I can put it here okay then we will have our admin default one jazip and our date and time by using this date and time function so we grabbed every single field but as I told you that we save only image name in our database and I saved the image name by using the super global of files but I have to specify some directory where I will save my actual image so here on line 9 I will have another variable with the name of target and that variable will have the location of our image so you can see this uploads folder we will upload all of our images inside this folder of upload so I will have this upload folder here and then inside my upload folder we will save our images so we have to save this image name that we got here so I will apply this function of base name that will take this whole file images as an argument so I will put it right here and semicolon at the end so this target image will move our image later to this location of upload with one function that we will define later so then here you can see on line 16 we have basic validation so I will apply this basic validation on our post title so here I will say that if my post title is empty then you should say title can't be empty and redirect to the same page of add new post dot php and in case if the title length is less than 5 we will say that post title should be greater than 5 characters and we will redirect it to add new post dot php and in case if the post description means this text area is greater than 1000 characters because inside this field let me show you its structure of this post table you can see that this post has the structure of 1000 length so I will say here in my code that in case if my post text is greater than 999 uh, we will say post description should be less than 1000 characters so when we don't have any problem with all of these validations we will go to this else block so we will have one query to insert our post inside our database when everything is fine so now we will change all of this insert code according to this post table in the next movie